celebrating its return to power in Karnataka after five years. A return powered by anti-incumbency and a slew of poll freebies promised to the people of the state. The Granol Party promised every female head of the family 2,000 rupees every month. Every unemployed graduate will get 3,000 rupees every month. Every diploma holder without a job will get half of that amount. Women will be permitted free travel in the state transport buses. And every household gets 200 units of electricity free every month. While some of these freebies come with caveats, data reveals that poll freebies are likely to burden the Karnataka exchequer by more than 60,000 crore rupees a year. An amount equal to the fiscal deficit the state is already shouldering. The new political dispensation of the state has also promised 1 million new jobs of which 2,50,000 will be Sarkari. Promises that can only add to the fiscal burden of the state. Even though Karnataka is one of India's highest revenue earning states, with collections till January exceeding full year revenue estimates by 15%, it faces huge interest payments and liabilities. The interest outgo in the next three years is expected to increase nearly 40% from the current fiscal. Debt and other liabilities are expected to skyrocket to 7.3 lakh crore rupees in the next three years due to the additional burden of the latest poll promises. It was nine months ago in October that Prime Minister Narendra Modi had warned against political freebies. The efficient implementation of many schemes The finance minister had in this year's budget allowed states a maximum fiscal deficit of 3.5% of which half a percentage point was tied to power sector reforms. While a few states have stuck to the targets, there are some where freebies threaten to upset the apple cart. While UP has promised free smartphones and tablets to students and scholarships for girl students of the economically weaker sections, its fiscal deficit has already hit the ceiling of 3.5%. Rajasthan has a free medicine scheme. The Gehlot government has also promised free cycles for girls and free tractor services for farmers, unmindful of its fiscal deficit hitting 4% this year. West Bengal gives 1,000 rupees every month to women from backward classes and 500 rupees a month to women from the general castes. Its deficit this year is expected to 3.8%. The Ahmadmi Party government in Punjab went the whole hog with free power and stipend for women. Its fiscal deficit is expected to be one of the highest at 5%. Tamil Nadu has allowed free travel for women as well as 4,000 rupees a month to all below poverty line ration card holders. Its fiscal deficit is 3.25%. What's also a big cause of concern is the return of several opposition rule states to the old pension system. Some of the top economic thinkers and even the RBI has warned against the kind of financial burden this move puts on the state. And with some of the biggest states including Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Telangana scheduled to elect new governments in the next few months, there is a real concern that the success of poll freebies in swaying the voters' mood may only end up expanding the list of Vimaru states in India. Euro Report, India Today. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.